Hey you guys, welcome back. Today we're diving into some eye-opening revelation from Susan Siego, who was once the assistant to Sean Diddy Combs. Dear up, because this is a story you wouldn't want to miss. But first, hey kings and queens, welcome back to the channel. It's girl royalty, back with another celebrity relationship gist. To our returning subscribers, you guys are the MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And please do like this video, it does help our channel. Thank you. For those who might not know, Susan Siego worked closely with Didi during a pivotal time in his life, specifically when he started dating the talented singer Cassie Ventura. She had worked with Sean Didi Combs for about a year between 2008 to 2009. Recently, a disturbing video surfaced showing Didi allegedly assaulting Cassie. Susan's insight shed light on the shocking incident. Susan described her reaction to the video with powerful words in an interview with CNN she said she felt sick and violently angry. Imagine the horror Cassie might have felt running out of the room barefoot as if escaping a fire. Susan's empathy is palpable and it underscores the sheer terror Cassie experienced. Guys I do agree with Susan because running out of a room barefooted gets to show you how much more terror she must have experienced for her to run barefooted like she was running for her dear life. She, that's what you literally call a flame this is not running it is a flea and we can only imagine at this point but when Susan was asked about her time with Didi Susan painted a complex picture she never saw him directly a bit Cassie but she wasn't surprised by the allegations she said I never saw him speak harshly to her but there was not one cell in my body that was surprised she said a paradox highlights the hidden dynamics of power and control that often go unnoticed. Let's hear a song. I went to parties with them. Um, I guess what I would say is, even though I never saw anything that could corroborate what's in that lawsuit and what we just saw, there was not one cell in my body that was surprised. Why not? You know, it's gonna sound a little bit weird because I don't have any facts, right? And nobody's gonna call me to testify. But I would say, that it's woman's intuition. Susan described Didi as a brilliant and influential mogul, but also someone who didn't see the humanity in those around him. He just didn't see your humanity when he looked at you, she noted. This lack of empathy could easily translate into abusive behavior behind closed doors. And once again, guys, I agree with Susan on this one. One thing with people who her power drunk is that they would end up being abused to their subordinates because they are power drunk. They love control. Control, they want to be in charge and they just want your total submission. If you watch that footage closely, you could tell from Didi's body language how he felt like he had ownership over Cassie and it's just despicable. She went on to say the power imbalance was especially stark for Cassie, a young artist at the start of her career. Didi's control over her career added another layer of complexity, making it nearly impossible for her to escape his grasp. This raises an important question question you guys how often do we overlook the subtle yet pervasive impact of power dynamics in a relationship susan siego's revelation offer a profound look into the unseen forces at play in high profile relationships and also really makes you think about the hidden struggles that people in the public eye might be facing it's easy to get caught up in the glitz and glamour but stories like this remind us that there's often a darker side what are your thoughts you guys on the power dynamics she described and do y'all think she was trying to say something while trying not to state it explicitly like just how she said she didn't see him abuse her or speak harshly to her she doesn't have anything that could get anybody into trouble but she's not surprised at his action after watching that footage i felt like she was saying something why try not to say something but you also think that way let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always thank you so much for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss more updates because y'all they are dropping more revelations and more updates on this story as well as other stories and till the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay <laughs> bye bye